Right, so this is part two of some of the basic calls we usually get uh, in IT, entry level IT or help desk or IT support. Sometimes we get like, I spill the coffee on my keyboard or my keyboard key letters are missing. So then you should have extra keyboards and you just take that out and boom, that's one call. Remember, that's a ticket. You got the ticket. You resolve the ticket. You're done. You go home. No, that's not how it works. I turned on my computer and it is looping. Every time I turn it on, it goes to the screen and then it shuts down. So what do I do? So this is going to be more of a technical call for you. You can't just say, oh, I'm gonna go there and just restart this machine. They have done that like 10 million times and you're not gonna do that. Even if you go there just to check it, but then you should have a solution for this. A solution would be, you need to learn this stuff. Of course, I'm not gonna do this in this video, you should go to jobskillshare.org and take the help desk course and then you will learn specifically how to fix this issue. Usually you will have a backup imaging. These are the terms that we use and then you will just grab that Im image or backup and drop it there and then it's up again. You can troubleshoot if you want to. There's a troubleshooting steps for it too. F8, go back to the last known configuration and things like that. In Windows 10, they have their own troubleshooting. So you will need to learn that. This is a learning part right there, right there. That's happening right there. You take the old laptops, equipments, desktops, whatever you name it right here. You see this right here. You take that out, put the new ones in or somebody smash the laptops in the convention or some conference and now you need to have another backup so always uh, you will have like a similar type of laptops as you can see they're all similar something happens to this one we got another one another one another one and we have all the backups right here this is if you want to become a stress-free IT environment then you're gonna have to have duplicates of things you know backups or things like that backups I mean of course things happen you need to restore you can't restore then you're screwed since things are getting modern, you're going to see something Alexa type of things too. Alexa or some other, you know, cloud type of devices that talk to each other and stuff like that. So you may have to configure these things, open it up, sync it, Wi-Fi, you know, trying to learn these new things also. So things are becoming modern now. Cloud-based technology is coming in. You got to learn all that stuff. So how do, basically, this is kind of like the physical stuff right here. You're going to go, you put it into some convention or some conference or something like that, a room, and then programmer configure it and then you as a help desk may need to uh, set it up with their devices so then this this thing can start talking power strips you know these things can go bad too and even though this is kind of facilities type of work but of course if you're an IT person you should have a bunch of these uh, you know with you and you're gonna get some call like that that my computer is not turning up so don't waste too much time first check the power if it's getting the power from that power strip sometimes these things can go bad and then everything will not work and then just don't spend too much time troubleshooting other issues that has not even related it could be just that you know it's not just help desk and working on desktops keyboard stuff like that sometimes you need to come to your server rooms and help your sysadmins sometimes they may tell you to go to the server check it can you restart it hard reboot it give me the serial number stuff like that and if you're working for networking type of company switches and routers you know sometimes you're gonna come here oh you know the the uh, users complaining that they cannot get internet so are you gonna spend one hour try to figure where why they can't get internet or if nothing is coming up there's no juice in this wire or that port then maybe this is turned off and you need to figure this out is it really blocked or somebody uh, you know block these ports or you need to work with your network administrator or system administrators so understanding these devices is another learning and that's something you're gonna learn from the courses certification and like our, our courses that we're teaching, partner content that we're giving. So you're gonna learn these type of things from there. Working in the lab environment and working on this stuff, I already shared this in my first video. So, you know, and then the printers too, I shared that in my first video that you're gonna go into the printers, color printers, color printers may have their own, uh, you know, changing how to change stuff, uh, all that stuff you're gonna learn. Uh, and basic things how to configure this stuff in lab environment you also have to set up some software for people who are coming here and taking courses or whatever they're taking you're just going to come here uh, and do that so this is another part of uh, IT 
So that was just the physical stuff, you know, the rest of the things are all applications, Microsoft Office, cloud, you know, how things are connected, permissions, setting passwords, Active Directory, people logging in, setting accounts for them, troubleshooting the operating system itself, troubleshooting the specific applications like Microsoft Office, Outlook, all of these things are then learning inside the computer, like, you know, learning these skills. And where do you learn this? You learn it either from our platform by starting the fundamental IT fundamental Metal V1.0 course and moving your move your way up to skills courses like help desk technical courses, ticketing system, Active Directory, Office 365. All of these things are realistic things. And if you learn that, then you can go to Indeed.com and, and check the description. And in description, wherever you see, 80% of the time you're going to be confident to apply to these positions. If you don't have that, if you just have certification and you're watching these videos like the basic ones and you're finding some of the things very, you know, extremely bizarre to you that what is he talking about ticketing system this stuff and that stuff then you're not ready you just went to certification you did the theory you passed the exam you got the paper but you're not ready so you need to be ready to do this type of stuff realistically this is how we do things so i'll share another video if i find something more fun but i feel like there's really not more to it it's more realistic stuff you just need to learn this stuff and uh six three to six months is more than enough for someone to land uh learn and land a job in this career um depending on what type of environment what kind of training you have done with who depending on how they have performed all this stuff so that is the key right there so if you have any questions let me know i will uh, try to help you guys out even more thank you